Stay tuned for Air Gun Detectives. Welcome to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. I'm JC, your host, and today we're going to take the mystery out of the Umarex Octane and the Octane Elite. The reason I'm bringing this to you is I've had these guns for a while, but I found out that Umarex is basically phasing these out. So I think the regular Octane is already phased out and the Elite's on its way out soon. So I figured I'd bring you this review. If it's something you're interested in, you can jump on it before they disappear. But before we get started, do me a favor. The little subscribe button down in the corner, please hit that. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free, but then you become part of the Airgun Detective family, and it really helps the channel. The more subscribers I have, the better off the channel looks, the better we can keep doing what we're doing. So also, don't forget, I hooked you guys up with the firearm guards. Those are those moisture blocks. They're great. I drop one in my gym bag. It sucks up the moisture. I have one in my uh, display case, have one in my safe, and what it does, it keeps the these precious um, air guns and your firearms from rusting. It sucks up that moisture so your gun doesn't rust. So anyway, again, promo code airgun gets you free shipping. And again, I'm going to tell you, yeah, I believe they're phasing these out. But let's uh, let's just do one at a time, real quick. They're basically the same gun. The main difference is the stock. Okay, this is your Elite. If you'll notice, um, the Elite is kind of has a swollen uh, foregrip here. It's got a slightly thicker uh, cheek piece back here. And this also has their um, stop shock system. What, what actually happens is the assembly in here actually floats in the stock. And when you fire it, because you have that um, double recoil, it helps absorb the recoil. So you can actually kind of feel it move when you're actually firing the rifle. Anyway, this is in 22 caliber. Um, they claim that it's to shoot about a thousand feet per second with a lead pellet. It's about a 40 pound cocking effort. The whole gun weighs about nine and a half pounds. It does not come with this scope. I upgraded the scope. It does come with a three by nine by 40 adjustable objective. It's not a bad scope. And it does come with the little Picatinny rail adapter here, which is pretty nice. They claim the trigger uh, stock out of the box is about three and a half pounds. Um, this does have the silence air chamber and it actually, it actually works. Um, quite well. It keeps the rifle actually pretty quiet for the most part. De definitely backyard friendly. Um, let's see, there is a safety right here. You can see that. This just flips back and forth real simple. It engages every time you cock the rifle, so you do have to disengage it. Um, you just kind of gently pull it back towards the trigger and that disengages it. This has the Reaxis um, gas piston, so it's a gas piston as opposed to a, a, a spring piston. So anyway, um, yeah, so the big difference between the two rifles is, as I said, this one has the stop shock recoil system, which actually helps absorb the recoil of the rifle. So let me set this one down and I'll show you the original Octane. The original Octane, yes, and I put bipods on this one. And by the way, my bipods, it's a nightmare. I'm trying to get some new ones. I redesigned some new ones. Uh, just trying to get someone to manufacture them, and it is a slow, slow process. I can't even tell you. I do not have an estimated time of arrival for you, but as soon as I do, I'll release a video, and I'll make a notice of it so you'll know. But I'm working on it. One thing about the original Octane, you can put the bipods on. The uh, Elite, you cannot. Because of the way that the stock free floats, it doesn't work well on that. It's one of the few guns that I found that bipods do not work well on is on the Elite. So don't put bipods on your Elite. Original Octane works great. Okay, um, yeah, the difference with this one, if you look at the stock, this has a much thinner cheek piece. I mean, look how thin that is. Almost a little thin, but, the, but it's solid. Even though it's a polymer frame, it's very, very solid. Same trigger. Um, they, they shoot almost identical. They really do. It's, it's basically um, the same guts here, but you just have the stop shock system in the other one. So let's take these out and test these. Let's, let's test them both. We'll test them for our usual uh, velocity, accuracy, and uh, we'll go through um, the typical gamut. And then we'll come back and talk about it. So stay tuned for the next segment. So what we're going to do is we're going to test out the velocity on our Octane first. And we're going to use the Meisterkrugens, the 14 grain pellets, and we'll see what type of velocity we get. So I'm just going to shoot um, 
five shots over the crony, we can average it out as usual. And then after that, we'll shoot the Elite and do a comparison. All right, shot number one, 896. Shot number two here. Eight ninety. Shot number three. Eight ninety five. Shot number four here. Eight ninety one. And let's do one more to finish it out here. All right, 882. That one dropped a little bit. Maybe the pellet didn't see it as well. Okay, so there's your average uh, feet per second and your foot-pounds of energy. So let's give the Elite a try and see how well it does. Okay, now for the Octane Elite. Let's shoot five shots over the Crony. Same pellets, the 14 grain uh, Meister Kuglins. And uh, let's see how well this does. Five shots over the Crony. We'll average it out for you. All right, shot number one. 893. Shot number two, 893 again. Too bad we can't keep that up, that'd be a great standard deviation. Okay, shot number three, 890. Shot number four, 894 and shot number five. Eight ninety one. Well you can see the velocity and foot pounds of energy there, pretty much a tie between the two. So let's move on to the next segment. Now we're gonna test the accuracy on our Octane, and when we're done with this one, we'll go ahead and test the Elite. I want to thank Splatterburst again for supplying the targets for us. We're going to be shooting these four inch targets. And we're also going to be shooting the uh, 14 grain Meister Kuglin pellets. They're a wad cutter. They actually put a really nice hole on the paper, so it'll be pretty easy to follow. But we'll just do five shots. We're looking for grouping. We're at our usual 20 yards. And I just want to tell you guys some of you uh, question the fact, well, why don't you move this out to 40? Well, the way my backyard is set up, this is the best environment for the most accuracy because I have a nice, the back of my house goes along the um, uh, west side of my range here and it blocks the wind, except for a wind tunnel at the very end, but I get the most accuracy here. So that's why I like to shoot here. So anyway, I'm going to shoot five shots. Remember, we're looking for grouping. And uh, let's just see how well this does. And then we get to shoot the Elite afterwards and compare it. So five shots. All right. That's one. That's two. Let's see how defined those holes are. That's three. That's four. Well, that one went through the same hole. That's a good sign. And five. Not too shabby, not that bad of a group. So you see what it did. Let's go ahead and move on to the next segment. Okay, let's see how well our Elite performs now. Okay. Again, going for grouping. That 
was one. And two. That's three. That's four. And one more. And five. Yeah, that did pretty well. I'd say it had a little bit of an edge on our octane for whatever reason. It just did. But uh, not a bad group. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Let's do a quick trigger test on our octane here, see how well it does. I have upgraded the triggers on these. Um, out of the box, they're right around five and a half pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood. But I'm going to show you, this is the potential. So I totally rebuilt the triggers on both this and the Elite. So let's see how well this one does. All right. One pound, eight ounces. One pound, eight ounces. Yeah, I have these breaking pretty nice right now. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Let's test the uh, trigger on our... Uh, Octane Elite here and see how well it does. Now I did bu upgrade both these triggers. That was a process. Um, out of the box, they're a couple pounds heavier, but let me just show you what your potential is here. All right. Let's see. One pound, 14 ounces. One pound, 14 ounces. Yeah, pretty amazing trigger. I did some upgrades on these. Move on to the next segment. My favorite portion is always the plinking. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just shoot the Elite here because it was just the first one I grabbed. The accuracy on these guns, as you can see by our accuracy test, are pretty close. So there's really no difference. It's just all based on, obviously, the different stocks. So we're going to shoot again is the uh, Meister Kuglins, the 14 grains. They actually work best in both these rifles. And I've tried a lot of pellets, but these work the best. So we're your typical 40 yards out. Go ahead and look at what we're shooting at there. I just have a couple steel eggs, a pig, a little shotgun shell. So let's see what we can do here. Let's try to knock those out. All right. All right, I'm gonna start with the shotgun shell. That was a hit. And this does hit hard. You're looking at 24 foot pounds of energy there. Okay. Yeah, let's get rid of the little eggs. Let's get rid of that little lonely white one out there. Oh, that was a hit. And the red. You can just feel the impact of that pellet, I'm telling you. These definitely are magnum brake barrels. And let's watch the impact on this pig. Oh yeah. Anyway, so there's your octane. This one's the elite. That's at 40 yards. Pretty impressive. Alright, let's move on to the next segment. Let's wrap this up with our conclusion. So if I didn't cover this in detail, I just want to remind you, this does come with open sights. It does have the true glow in the front, in case you're wondering, and it's got the green colored in the back, and that just mounts right on the barrel. I took those off because I just do the scope shooting. But anyway, so if you're one of those guys that likes to shoot open sights, um, this, this rifle definitely has it. Again, I upgraded the scope. It does come with a 3x9x40 uh, adjustable objective. It's not a horrible scope at all. It's very manageable. Not a mil dot, more like a 50-50 but uh, it's not a bad uh, scope. 
So overall, what are my negatives on this? My number one negative on it is the trigger. The actual stock trigger on it is pretty heavy. They claim three and a half pounds. Out of both my rifles, none of them out of the box broke under five pounds. They were between, um, honestly, between six and eight pounds. So what I did is I had to tune this trigger. I completely took it apart. In fact, there was a um, guy that uh, sold what we call the duck bill, which is a, a key component in the trigger. I'll show you a picture of that. And uh, I actually ordered a couple of those duck bills from an upgrade in the trigger. I polished the assembly, put it all together, and then you saw when I did the trigger test, it turns it into a really, really nice trigger, so it makes a big difference. But yeah, out of the box, number one negative is the trigger. Um, how did we do performance-wise? Well, we did show you it gets 24 to 25 foot-pounds of energy, which is not too shabby. It really liked the Meisterkuglins, the 14 grain pellets, and you saw that. We shot about right around a half-inch group or so at 20 yards, which did well, and uh, that was just under about uh, 900 feet per second. So, like I said, you're getting good foot-pounds of energy out of it. Um, it also did quite well at our 40 yards when we were shooting our smaller objects and plinking. So that's actually a pretty good pellet for this rifle, and I tried quite a few of them. So think about it. So you're getting this, you're getting a Magnum rifle that only has about a 40 pound cocking effort for right around that $200 mark. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna warn you guys again, they're phasing these out. The original Octane is gone. And uh, this is the Elite, and I think they're phasing them out. So what's out there is out there. So if it's something you're interested in, I would jump on it, that's for sure. In fact, my the actual other octane, the, the non-elite, I actually that was a that one is fully tuned. This one is um, has a basic tune on it with a totally upgraded trigger as well. But uh, the other octane was um, fully tuned, and it's it's a little bit smoother, but not bad, not much difference. You saw the accuracy is about the same in both these rifles. Um, how would you rate this gun? Well, I'm going to have to give you my honest rating out of the box, and it's going to be four stars. And if the trigger would be better, I'd obviously get higher rates. But overall, not a bad rifle. Think about it. It's around that $200 mark, and it's considered a Magnum air rifle. You're getting 24, 25 foot-pounds of energy. You have the option of shooting open sights or with the scope. So it's not that bad. So definitely four stars, and for the price not bad now what takes getting used to is this stop shock system because the uh, this actually kind of floats in the stock so when you shoot it you got to have a nice firm grip with this stock because you have to hold it stiff to allow the stock shock to do what it needs to do and it's to slightly move so what it does when you have that violent double recoil it helps absorb that shock and it's supposed to help with your scope help preserve your scope so far so good so again, hey, thanks for tuning in for this episode of Airgun to Deckers. Don't forget, if you hadn't subscribed, it's absolutely free. Check out my website at www.airgundetectives.com. And until next time, stay safe, be happy, and I hope you do a lot of shooting. Take care.